Today is a beautiful day. I have just dropped my daughter off at school and I'm getting ready to start a new quilt. And there is nothing better for a quilter than a new quilt to make. I have this beautiful stash of fabrics and many of them I don't use. I feel like they're too special somehow. So they sit there sometimes for years. But today I'm going to break open a pre-cut roll of Tilda fabric and I'm going to comfort quilt, which means I'm going to make a log cabin quilt. This collection is called Plum Garden and it is one of my favorite Tilda collections. I'm going to couple it with this white uh, fabric with little gray stars. This is also Tilda. And of the three sizes of log cabin blocks that I have templates for, I'm going to use the five inch. It has a little bit wider bars that I think will look really cute with this fabric. And I'm also going to pull in some other Tilda fabrics. This collection is really sweet with the little angel scraps. So I'm gonna use some of those, not all the colors, but some of them and some of the florals too. I'm also going to pull in some of the tea towel basics. These are really sweet. Um, there are four different colors I think in this collection and there's I believe three of each pattern but I don't necessarily want um, three that are almost the same. I feel like that will be too much repetition in the quilt. So I'm only going to take one or two uh, from each color and select for this quilt. And stripes always just makes things so much cozier. So I love putting stripes in my quilts. For the center of the blocks, which are going to be cut at two times two inches, I am um, using a lavender chambray. This is also a Tilda fabric. And then it's just cutting up those strips and they're actually the perfect width for this uh, paper foundation that I'm using because you take the two and a half inches and you basically just cut it in half and you get one and a quarter inch strips which is exactly what we need for the five inch log cabin foundations. And now we're just gonna sew. If you're new to paper piecing, foundation paper piecing that is, it's a really, really good technique to add to your repertoire. It's easy. Um, one thing that I really like about it is that for those of us who struggle with getting quarter inch seams to be really, really precise, especially when you have more complex blocks with a lot of seams, the paper foundations take all the guesswork out of getting the right size. So some of us, I am one of them, I'm, you know, it's almost like our brains are naturally curvy and squiggly and things don't always want to be straight. So with the foundation papers, it's just easier to get it to, um, to work out. And I love how my blocks come out, you know, perfectly straight at the perfect size every single time when I'm using foundation papers like these. I don't plan too much when I'm sewing. I usually actually listen to an audiobook and uh, I don't worry too much about which fabrics I put together in every single block because by the time you have 80 or 100 or maybe even 200 plus blocks for a large quilt, you're gonna put them in different parts. You're gonna mix the blocks up. So even if you make four blocks in a row that look almost the same, they're not going to end up in the same place in the quilt in the end anyways. So this is a really peaceful process for me at least. And um, I love seeing the blocks grow and adding them to the pile to be quilted later on. After you're done piecing your blocks together, um, we're going to trim them down here on the stippled line, that's the quarter inch seam allowance around each block. 
when they start looking really neat and orderly. And look, don't they just look so lovely? I'm really excited about this quilt. Can't wait to make the rest. I think, uh, I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna lay the blocks out in the end, but I know that no matter what I end up with, and I'm, I'm probably gonna start experimenting when I have more of the blocks done, it's gonna end up being really pretty in the end. So thank you so much for joining today. I hope this really inspired you to go and make something beautiful. Please follow me and uh, check out our website if you want, feliciasworld.com. <laughs>